Also, I love this death scene. Chest. It's burning. What's wrong? That's so fucked up. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Again, this is all just part of my alien impregnation kick. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Good God, what was that? That's a pretty timid fucking reaction, Ada. But yeah, this is basically just um, why he was locked up. This is basically saying that... Uh, oh, Wesker! Yeah, basically, um, Brian Irons is being bribed by Umbrella to keep effing hush-hush by uh, William Birkin, who you'll meet in a minute. Where are you going, Ada? To the chemical plant. I have a feeling that's where I'll find John. Has everyone hey, seen uh, Alien? Wait. Because I think the directors hey. of this game have seen Alien. Do you read me, Claire? We now have access to the back of the parking lot. Got it. I'm getting out of here and heading to the sewer. Can you meet me there? I'm on my way. <laughs> Claire did not sound happy about going to the sewer. Oh, sewer, I'm on my way. Can you go any cell? Yes. Yeah, even the cells don't have toilets. What the fuck? I mean, at least the original mansion had one toilet. Oh, I've got that blue herb as well, just in case. I can't remember what the poison enemies are. I'll take it just in case. Oh yeah, there's some spiders in a second. I know in my luck they'll probably grab me. By the way, I, sh I should warn everyone, I have genuinely been looking for um, a blue tube top to cosplay uh, Resident Evil 3 Jill Valentine when I play Resident Evil 3. I can't find a decent one yet, but I'm going to keep looking. I've got a couple of weeks yet, but if I can, I'm going to cosplay Jill for the stream. And that's going to be fucking hideous. Okay, I am definitely going to save here because this is the boss right now. I'm going to quickly sort my inventory first. Well, I definitely want to do um, Star's Uniform Jill at some point. But... Nope, okay. Uh, pop that in there. Don't need the Magnum yet. Need that plug. But yeah, the um, Busy 3 Jill should be quite cheap if we can get the top properly. Because it's, it's just a top and a skirt. Do you my fourth save? Fourth? Yes. I mean, I've got a, um... I'll show it off later on. I've got a replica of the Samurai Edge, which is the um, handgun from Resident Evil 3, and then that's later put into the remake. Oh, that's got my jacket. Uh, with the picture I put up on Twitter, that's got, I've got a Stars patch there. And I, one thing I really want to get is um, replicas of the keys. Fun fact, that's actually the uh, rarest... Um, Resident Evil collectible is for the uh, I think game convention where it's first announced. Every guest got a key, a single key, one of the ones from the mansion, and um, all four of them together are worth like ten grand or something like that. But they're so nice. I'm gonna get the first aid spray just in case as well, because again, boss fight. In fact, I'm gonna, at this point as well, I think I'm ready just to upgrade to the shotgun permanently. Okay, here goes. But yeah, I'd love to get some uh, more Resident Evil probably, because I want to get the crests as well from Resident Evil 1. I know for um, the EU version of Resident Evil 2 Remake, it came with a statue of Leon, it came with um, art book, but also came with replicas of the precinct keys, which I would love to have. I know the um, the American version had like a really shitty typewriter keyboard apparently, but I'd just love the key replicas. I'm a sucker for pop up as you can tell. Oh, they grow up so fast. 
Also, can we just appreciate how nice the mutation effects are in this game, even for old PS1 game? Especially when you see Birkin later on, he looks so good when he transforms. Oh, that's hot. I've got to stop making these jokes. Yeah, it's not the hardest boss fight. Because <laughs> I usually don't take the machine gun as uh, Leon. So, um, yeah, it's usually a little bit. Never mind. Yes, that thing does seem to be trying to climb up my fucking ass at the moment. One thing I do like in the remake, that's not a boss. That's actually just a common enemy which keeps turning up and they're a fucking pain in the ass to fight. Wait! That's something he says quite a lot in this game, that all about? Running off like that was reckless and, and stupid. stupid. Those zombies are everywhere. <laughs> hey, this is like, Leon, shut up. I was there, Leon, I know. <laughs> look, Ada. As an officer, it's my job to look out for you. Oh. We're not going to get through this alive if we don't work together, okay? All right, we'll do this your way. <laughs> I forgot how much of a bitch Ada is. All right, we'll do this your way. I wish there were a few more moments like this where Ada follows you about because she does help a lot. Yes, this is the part of the game we spend most of it wading through shit. They really sort of increased the size of the sewers in the remake clone. You, it's so easy to get lost in those ones. I keep every time I've played, it, I just don't know where the fuck I'm going. Uh, I believe there's some stuff here. Yeah. I'm not gonna bother saving that boss. Was not worth me. <laughs> Emergency save in case I fuck it up. No problem, Mons. Another benefit which I didn't know about until I watched the uh, Carcinogen developer stream. Uh, there's, you, I think it's like f six camera angles you can have in the original, five or six camera angles in the original Resident Evil engine per loaded room. This one has a lot more, so you can have a lot more different closer angles than that, which is quite nice. Should have really sort of made a note of all the proper facts and that rather than trying to half remember them. <laughs> I think this is just, yeah, I think this is just stuff about uh, irons coming down to the because the irons have been going to the lab, which is under the precinct. I'm going to take the pistol because I know there's something I need later on for. Should I take the ammo as well? Nah. Oh no, I should put the magma on back. Yeah, um, if you don't like inventory management, don't play the original Resident Evils because there's a lot of this. Those of you who played this game know why I'm just taking the pistol right now, but for now I don't need the ammo. Uh, down here. <sighs> 
Well, we're about to play some more later. And Leon's dead, everyone. No Resident Evil 4 for anyone. That woman was. I have to talk to her. Doesn't seem to be more. Ah, fuck him. Controller, not now, because I don't want to get fucked by these roaches. Oh god. Okay, I'm gonna do that again. My controller just glitched out. I think I need to turn off the analog. So I've got the analog stick mapped as well, but I think the analog stick's a bit broken. So I might, before I play Claire B next time, I'm gonna take that off. God, that'd be really embarrassing if I dodged the roaches. Right, get comfy now. It's, it's movie time. There's a nice long sort of FMV here. But it's a really cool one, so it's worth it. Also, fun fact, there are no... In the original Resident Evils, there's no... There's only one character with long hair, and that's the mayor's daughter, because she's a corpse. Because they couldn't animate sort of shoulder-length hair. That's why uh, in Resident Evil 1, Jill's hair's tied back, and all the other ones have got short bobs. Now I remember. One of the men from I love the music in the game in entirely. Yeah, you, you've not missed much, Deb, at all. Don't worry. Oh, oh yeah, Liam just got shot. That's a bit know? important thing, but uh, it's fine. It's only Leon. Annette Birkin. My husband is the man responsible for the creation of the T virus. Oh, fuck Roy yeah, Birkin. hunk. Oh yeah, I think when we've done a uh, Claire B, I might have to play a bit of Fourth Survivor because I've never played it. Because if I remember correctly, my original version of Resident Evil 2 didn't have it. Even though I just never, I couldn't find it on the menu. But yeah, um, there's a bonus mode called Fourth Survivor, which is like a little more action oriented. That we play as Captain Gunnison in this. It's capable of creating the. His name is actually Hunk. Its potential is even greater than that of the T virus. Then that must mean the creature in the police department is precisely my husband, William. And it's all Umbrella's fault. None of this would have happened if they hadn't tried to steal his research away from him. I think this FMV works because there's not much um, human faces apart from. Birkin and Annette, but the lighting makes them look a bit better than they do in the original the, uh, intro for Leon. It's sheer perfection. My precious G-Virus. No one will ever take you away from me. There he is. Mm -hmm. War monster. So you finally come. Doctor, we're here to collect the G-Virus sample. Sorry. But I won't just hand over my life's work. You might hit the sample. Get wrecked. Scrub. That's it, all right. Okay, let's move out. Oh yeah, the, um, only a couple of years. Like, and like I said, this game was kind of rushed because they've abandoned the original build oh, of the yeah. game. Oh my! Hold on, darling. I, I, like I said, I think Resident Evil 2's voice acting is a lot better than the first one, but it's here. still. I think Resident Evil 3's got the best of the original trilogy. <laughs> oh shit, I just knocked over my coke. Have you retrieved the sample yet? Affirmative. We'll be at the rendezvous point in one minute. Roger. Are you telling me that he injected the G virus into his own body? The G virus has the ability to revitalize cellular functions. What, what, what was that? Something's wrong. Let's check it out. Over there! Shoot! Eat this, you freak! I'm stopping it! 
What is this thing? Hurry! Om nom 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 nom. Yeah, I always find it a bit weird how he just randomly starts what, eating what more virus thing? out the capsules. Yep, Nev's right, because the same space in the N64 version, they actually just use Claire's line rather than Ada's. Well done, that's a nice, that's a really obscure bit of trivia, which is quite good. Well done. So the one that survives, basically. The barriers of the virus. As a result of his virus induced but yeah, can we just agree that's probably the best FMV in the entire series? Oh, Mox, you, you just missed the best FMV in the entire game series, for fuck's sake. Every G virus bioweapon including <laughs> the ability to implant embryos into other creatures. Yeah, as I said, in um, and if you play also... Claire first, uh, oh. William impregnates his own daughter through the, with the mouth tentacle like he did with um, Ben. And you have to get a cure for it. Too bad. Too bad. <laughs> Ada's a stone cold bitch, I love her. I don't like, in the later games, Ada becomes like this really cool, like over the top character, but in this one, she's I really like her because she does sort of soften at the end and it really works, I think. Again, SD Perry books have sort of made me sort of have more, think more of the characters than what's actually in the game. <gasps> Cliffhanger ending. <laughs> Ada? Just been shot. Health? Fine! Apparently a bullet does fuck all. Yeah, that's that's the map, obviously. I don't need the map. I've played this game so many times now, I know it. Off by heart, more or less. First things first. This took me forever to do when I first played this. Maybe I should have looked at the map, because I could I didn't know about this little alcove here. Of course, yeah, you find some all the soldiers. That's one thing I never got with this game, like why are the check because obviously you find these in the original game. This is the um key to use the uh entrance to the lab. I just never really got why they're also in this one. It just feels a bit kind of lazy, like asset reusing. But I'm not sure if they're the same picture. I'd have to double check. God damn it! Nope, I fucked up. I knew I would. I do this every time I play this damn game. It's alright. We'll just leave these spiders to starve to death. It's more humane. So, I can't remember the fucking moral of that story. Yeah, I fucked up. Same as I, I do this every time because you're meant to have the uh, valve handle, but I always forget and always have to backtrack. So good job I remember now before I had to go all the way down there. Fuck's sake, every time! Who has um, seen the um, pilot for what's going to be a Netflix series of Resident Evil? Uh, it's on, I think it's called Arkelay, the uh, pilot test film. It's basically like a police, the idea of the series was meant to be like um, police officers, like detectives, investigating stuff leading up to the mansion incident. And like the the, the, um, the short film, which was put up on YouTube, which had all references to Resident Evil taken out, is really good and it makes me so upset we never got the series. moving so I will get poisoned. Get up, get up, get up. Yeah, well I mean it, it automatically looks better than the fucking Paulus Anderson films. 
There's also the, is a, I think I can't remember. It was like somewhere um, European did like some fan films, but like they did basically they tried to recreate the, the first game, and they did like a few different clips. But some of them look so good, like they recreate the first zombie scene, and it's spot on exactly how I would love a Resident Evil film to look. I'm gonna take your word for it and say that's it because I can't click at the moment. But also, nothing to remember is to turn this valve up. But yeah, it's such a shame they didn't. Because Resident Evil, I think, would translate really well into a film or TV series. It's just a shame no one's done it right yet. Grab these as well. I'm gonna save just in case, cause no mark I'll fuck this up. Yeah, right. The fucking because you can find the script for the George A. Romero film on YouTube on um Google, like the actual full script, and it's it's not perfect, but it's way better than what we got. Well, George, uh, George A. was uh, was actually quite a big Resident Evil fan because he also directed a couple of adverts for uh, this game. I might have to use some knives in a minute. Don't mind. Apparently we are getting reboots of the game, uh, films. Apparently. I'm not sure if that's going to happen yet or not, but um, apparently there's going to be new ones closer to the games. That's a rumour I've heard. Hope it's true. Ada! Honestly, Nev, just watch the first film. That's it. That's all you need. Yes. That's a big heckin' croc. I don't know. All the films blend into one for me. I love the animations of it, like clinging onto the wall as it drags around. It's it's so nice. A bit more. I love the fact the game lags when that happens because there's so many particle effects on screen. Yeah, this like. I think I think like, the cliffhanger to the second to last film had like loads of the Resident Evil characters, like the original ones. Like there was uh, Ada, there was Leon, there was uh, Chris and actually not Leon, but Chris and Claire and that. And then they just kill them off at, in off screen at the beginning of the last film. Animated films. I've only seen the first one. Uh, yeah, digital animation, but I haven't seen the others. But I know I've seen that stupid um, kung fu fight they did. Like, with the guns, where they're basically, like, spinning around the circle. It's so stupid. The Rebecca stuff looks cool on it, though. It's so stupid. Leon. <sighs> this bullet wound isn't making things any easier. I have to look at, like... Leon. Like, I can't, I can't believe he's still walking about and going through open sewage with a bullet hole which has come blown out the back of his fucking shoulder. That is That's definitely so infected. Also... Bandage you get over his body armor. That's not really going to be the, the best of fucking seals on the wound, is it? Out. John's dead. What? Never mind. Let's just get out of here. The sooner, the better. Yeah, no, Le Le like I'm surprised if anything will happen. It's like Leon died off screen. Yeah, if I didn't turn that valve back where the where I did earlier on, that bridge would be down and it'd be a pain in the ass to go back. It's a stupid little mechanic, just wastes time. Oh yeah, because then there's no toilets in um, the entire precinct. Maybe just he's fine. Let's use that hurt just to get this. And 
again, sorry if the Twitch chat wants to read this, but obviously we'll be here, we'll, we'll take like another half hour for the stream to go through if we just read through every single document. But I'll skim through it anyway, just so if you watch it back on YouTube, you can just pause and read it at your own leisure. Oh, you got used to that. Yeah, it looks like this stream's going to be sort of roughly the same length as the uh, Resident Evil 1 1. Sweet, so that's more YouTube content out. Sweet. By the way, if you haven't noticed yet, uh, 6 uh, six p.m. every Sunday, you're going to get a new part of the the streams go up on YouTube. So originally I was going to do it one big chunk, but I'm kind of digging the, the half hour episodic stuff I'm doing and the cliffhanger to edit in. It's, I'm kind of digging that. So I'll probably do the same for Resi 2 when I uh, get to uploading that. Yeah, for the first time ever, my channel's got regular content. I mean, it's not the content people subscribe to, but fuck it. <laughs> Ada, keep running, don't get poisoned. Come on, keep going, keep going. Oh, one of us is going to get poisoned here. Come on, Ada, keep moving. Oh, sweet. Yep. If she gets poisoned, it's no big deal. She's just a little bit slower. I never got what that earthquake was meant to be. What, is that Birkin moving about? I, I, I've never got it. I, um, it's never really explained. One thing I did like little Easter egg in um, uh, b -b -b Resident Evil Seven is it's um, hinted that the Baker Mansion is um, designed by George Spencer, who did the uh, Resident Evil One Mansion. So that's kind of an excuse for why it's all fucking weird. There's no explanation in Resident Evil 2 or 3 why the places are like this, though. Oh shit, Maida got fucked up. I can't remember if this speeds up the fight or not, but I'm going to shoot him anyway, I've got ammo. In fact, I'm going to use the shot, the pistol, because I've got so much fucking pistol ammo at this point. I don't think this speeds up, because I don't think they shoot him in the speed run, but fuck it. For drama reasons. So yeah, has anyone got any more Resident Evil related questions, which I will fumble about awkwardly and try to remember the answer for? Well, in the original games were called Biohazard, um, and in Japan they are still called Biohazard, but they... Um, Capcom USA said oh, it was going to be really hard to trademark that name. So they had a competition inside Capcom offices to basically say, oh, let's come up with a new name and Resident Evil 1, and that's the sort of stuck. But even now, um, I don't know what we're doing. Resident Evil in Japan is still called Biohazard. Again, I've only seen the first one. I didn't mind uh, Degeneration, but it's a bit boring. There's only like. I wish they put a few more different things in there, like zombie dogs and crows and all that sort of thing. Instead, it's, it's just zombies and the uh, new G mutant.
And I believe I've now got... Yep. One of the nicest weapons in this game. This thing is... I wish you get this gun a bit early on in the game because it's so overpowered. Like, when I shoot a zombie's head in a minute, you'll see does it fucking... It doesn't just take the head off, it takes the entire fucking upper half off. Hang on a sec. I'll answer that in a second, but yeah. Look at... The fucking look at that shit! And I instantly get... AD, you could shoot him, you know, thank you. Yeah, no, um... Resident Evil 7 over here is called Resident Evil 7 Biohazard, and in Japan it's called Biohazard Resident Evil. Because that's not confusing at all. Oh, I haven't got any space. I'll just combine these, it's fine. Just seen a, a Facebook message from Jack. It's a uh, the uh, things cash app. You, um, yeah, I'm not sure if you can get it in Ireland. You don't have to donate. It's fine. I've got my pizza. Okay, right. I'm gonna say. Did I save all the clock? I'm gonna save anyway because this is the boss fight. I just wish they'd on Steam they'd, they'd release the original Resident Evils. Because there are PC ports. I mean, like I said, I couldn't get the PC port of Resident Evil 2 working. That's why I'm playing on a P uh, PS1 emulator. But getting Resident Evil 1 to run on PC, that version was. Well, you saw. People who were there for seeing it, you saw how glitchy that game was. Right. Don't need that. Don't need that. I'm going to take the shotgun with me. Have I got shotgun shells in here? No. Take that. Take that. Don't need that. It's, well, the app's just called Cash App, so just Google it. You, you should find it, but like I said, it's up to you. Oh, wait, I'm going to need these. This is actually the hard boss now, so... Um, Actually, you're gonna have to think about what I'm gonna need. I need one space for the key. Uh, I'm pop that back on. Uh, no, I'll keep that. Uh, don't need. What have I done? Okay. I'm not gonna need three healing items. That should be fine. Yeah, it's a. I think, but I think there was a weird legal stuff with um, Nintendo because Nintendo had the Resident Evil license for quite a while. Yeah, but don't forget, we're English. We hate the EU in every single form, including their money. But yeah, like because um. That's the reason why the original Resident Evil remake came out on uh, Nintendo, and why we got Resident Evil Zero on Nintendo GameCube. It's just because they got the the rights to it for a while, and it was a kind of a stupid decision, I think, because most Resident Evil players were. I think the failure of Resident Evil Zero is one of the big reasons why Resident Evil shifted to more action games, because they thought, oh, survival horror isn't selling anymore. It was. It's just that most people didn't have a fucking GameCube. The only reason I got a GameCube in the end was just to play the remake, and the um. Put the Resident Evil 2 and 3 ports were okay. But I'm glad they finally ported the uh, remake to PCs and that, just because it's such a good game. Okay. I'll take Durkin on the Magnum, I think. Wish me luck, because I, th I think I'm actually kind of crap at this boss fight. <laughs> yes. That's another thing I didn't like about the remake. This one, you do each character fights different mutations. Like, so I think this is 
G2 Leon fights it, whereas Claire in this part will fight G3, whereas in the remake they both fight the same boss and the story doesn't mesh together as nicely. Well, I mean, the, the GameCube, I think, was more powerful than the PlayStation. I'm kind of glad they did, because the, the Resident Evil remake looks stunning, even now, the original GameCube version. But, yeah. I'd, I'd like to have seen the original um, version of Resident Evil Zero. Because like the, the, um, the original was on the N64, but then they eventually moved the GameCube and changed the plot around and made the plot stupid. Originally, Ada, Wesker was meant to be the bad guy in Zero. So I'd like to have seen Come that, on, but I don't, think we're ever gonna, I don't think that you've got like, past like 10% completion. Okay, alright, let's fucking go for this. It's really warm in here. Ugh. <laughs> right. Look how nice this animation is when you mutate. That's still horrible even now on PS1 graphics. I I love it. It's so nice. It looks good in the remake, but for the time of this, it's just Well, if you're that desperate to send me I'll I'll send him a pay PayPal me thing later on if you want. Can we just, I'm just going to pause for a minute because this music is so good. The boss battles, and the boss themes in this game are just... Yes! <laughs> Suck it. I love Mr. X's theme as well. I, I'm not too keen on the remake Mr. X theme, but the original is just perfect. Go to that because no melee accidentally shoot a zombie with the magnum shot and waste ammo. <laughs> do, do you really want Deborah's ominous pink goo covered here. scent coin? Come on. Wake up! Come on! It's a bit gay, Jack. <laughs> Welcome back. Uh. Hey, take it easy. We're inside Umbrella I can't remember if it happens in Claire, Claire B, but in Claire A, uh, she gives Shelly her, her vest, which is quite a cool touch. I'd love a replica of Claire's costume. Oh, Resident Evil oh, um, 2 with the, pink, the hot pink shorts and the oh, vest, definitely. It's such a cool uh, outfit. I told you, it's my job to look after you. You're gay, Jack. You've never said before. Be in Multiple times. Me. Every conversation I we have. I've only known you for a short period of time. I really enjoy being with you. God, F F1 knows this is a, a straight only chat. There, were, there I, were no homosexuals in this chat at all. I know. At all. I'm not capable of caring about anyone. <laughs> I actually think most of this chat is gay. Or, or at least on the queer know. spectrum somehow. We're leaving this place together. Wait here. I'm looking at the names and there's quite a few names I recognise. Yeah. Oh, that controller's is playing up again. <laughs> Yeah, I actually think this is a majority LGBTQ plus chat. Yeah. yeah. I hope for that. Yeah. Hell yeah, this is this is gay as fuck. It's brilliant. Uh, do I need the key? Yeah, I'll take the key. Thank you. 
I uh, better save just in case. Oh hell yeah! I'm I'm I'm, I'm digging the fact this is a a very queer stream. <coughs> also, really like Ada's theme. It's really sort of peaceful. I'm trying to think if there's a safe. No, there is a safe part. I'm not going to do this for now. There's a there's an item box. Do I want the mag? What am I got? No, I'm good. No, I'll take the mag just in case. Because I think because down here you've got the super liquors, which are basically liquors with uh, longer claws, and they take a hell of a lot more damage to kill. So uh, fuck that noise. And you've also got the ivy monsters, which are a pain in the ass. Oh god, I've got to fight the moth as well. Uh, is it this way first? Yeah. I love the design of this lab. It's so cool. Again, I'm glad they brought back the sort of the three-pronged shaft look look for the uh, remake. Yeah, it's it. I think the majority, of, at least the, most of the chatters are queer. There's probably some people who are just lurking and watching. Now I'm I'm just sis here. It's fine. <laughs> have you have you missed much, Nev? I'll come back here later on. There's a whole thing you have to do here, but basically, um, you can validate your stuff yourself on this, and then when you come back as Claire later on, you can go in that room. And I think there's a machine gun in there. I think. Yeah, it is. Because if it's um, if you take the machine gun early on, that'll be machine gun ammo. If you don't take the machine gun, you get the machine gun later on. So I'm gonna do all that palaver. <laughs> Oh god, yeah, I forgot about the flamethrower, oh, shit! The flamethrowers are white in this game. I don't think the flamethrowers are ever any good weapon, the best weapon in any of the Resident Evil games they're in. Go through here first. Usually you can skip, there's a lot of the uh, labs you can sort of skip, but I'm going to do it all just to show it off. And we've got we've got plenty of time, It's uh, we've still got a lot of... It's Oh yeah, flamethrowers here, aren't it? I do like the fact that that's clearly the alien's flamethrower. Right, we've got a um, decision to make here, people. Uh, so basically there's a control here which will release a gas into the labs, which will make the liquors weaker. However, there's an enemy about to come up called the ivy, which is basically just giant walking plants. That will make them slightly tougher and also give them a poison attack. So what do we want to do? Should we... I can't remember which is the better option. Should we make the liquors weaker, but also have poison enemies, or should we just fight on the liquors normally? I think we have got enough ammo to take the liquors on, but... No, I haven't got many green... There's some green herb planted here, but there's going to be so many green herbs to mess about with. Ow. I can't remember. I think that makes the liquors harder in Claire B, though. I can't remember. It's been so long. Uh, I'll screw it. Since the chat's saying to do it, I'm gonna weaken the liquors. If this fucks me over in Claire B, uh, B, I'm gonna blame all of you. Yeah, 
Yeah, they're definitely weaker. Like, so they usually have about three shots to do. Is there anything else in here? Yeah, Resident Evil also has a, a thing. No, I'm not going to take that. I've got plenty of ink weapons. Yeah, that's a. <laughs> That's something else that I've noticed about the liquors in Remake. They've got like a, a properly modelled pucker. It's odd. It's, yeah, there's there's a worrying amount of detail in some of the enemies in a remake. Mind you, if, this is something I only discovered recently. If you look at the original models for the hunters in Resident Evil One, they've got a vagina. Like there's a, a full-on drawn vagina model on the actual model in the game. And even in the concept art as well, it's it's odd. I, I think I think the uh, director's a little bit horny. Yeah. Ah, I should I can explain what the liquors are. They're basically like the next mutation of zombie. In um the Resident Evil remake, if you don't kill a zombie with a headshot or burn the body, they all come back as crimson heads. So they've got claws, they've got red skin, and then. It's hinting that later on in the mutation they become liquors. Oh, shit. Please don't be poisoned. Nope, just caution. Okay. Yeah, honestly, I've, I've put it on my Facebook page. I think I did tweet about it, so if you if you search Demon Vagina, you might see it, or Demon Hunter, you might see it. But. Yeah, that's a thing. And that really confused me when I first saw that. I was like, what the fuck? Yeah, but Jack, like you're complaining. Do you know what? Yeah, no, that that plant was very vaginal. If for those of you worried about me wasting magnum ammo, I'm gonna get some more in a minute. Yeah, that's a uh, super liquor. Oh, were you here when you saw the liquors earlier on? Yeah, the normal liquors have got sort of long fingernails and they're red. These are the super liquors, which are tougher. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, that's the level this chat is at now. So we've, we've gotten into the labs, so it's all vagina talk. I uh, need that key. Yeah, considering they're quite iconic in Resident Evil 2, you don't really see the, um... Did I just have the green herb? No, I used that shit. You don't really see the, um, liquors that much in, like, you're sort of in the middle section of the game. Keycard, where do all oh, the keycards in here? Okay. The thing is, I that's always a bit awkward, is whenever you're trying to f like find gifts of Resident Evil, you always end up with just like, oh, here's someone who's just gifted one of the um, death animations where someone's eaten, for obviously, for certain reasons. Vore files have ruined Resident Evil. Or made it better, depends on your point of view. That's just good, because when I combine that, I'll get more ammo, so I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna waste some ammo here, because it's fun. How much ammo have I got? I've got enough, I'm just gonna... Two, three. Give one more shot. It is very stupid wasting magnum ammo on zombies, but I've got. So the problem with Resident Evil game is the um. The problem I always have with Resident Evil games, I save ammo so religiously, I end up like by the end of the game, I've got so many magnum bullets and so many shotgun shells which I'm never gonna use, and it's like, oh well, shit. 
So I might as well just have a bit of fun and actually use them. Can we appreciate that's a sexy fucking gun? <laughs> we'll save that for the bosses. Or the boss. Is he still alive? Yep, I've just severed him in half. He's still walking. Jesus Christ. Uh, yeah. Like I said, you don't have to go here in the, the main game, but you can do this just to um, unlock the stuff in the Claire B scenario. Because now you get to fight... A giant moof! Oh, that was such a sad little noise! Oh, I feel bad now. I actually like moths as well. And now I'm going to burn its children. Yes. I always hate the fact these aren't quirky keyboards as well. Man, I would suck at the speed of this. I do like the aesthetic of this sort of stuff. <laughs> I need a fucking big glass. I like the fact in um, Outbreak, that's a mini boss as well, and that can sort of randomly take play out and entomb them down here. It's creepy. Okay, that's done. Uh... Again, this is all just optional side stuff, but it's going to be worth it later on. Even if the machine gun is kind of a crap weapon. <laughs> uh, I'll keep the flame for just in case. I'm trying to think where I've got to go now. It's yeah, and I think I know what to do. Do I need more? No, I'll have an space by then. That is the form of Resident Evil, is trying to remember. Alright, I've got to pick up this item here, this item there. Do I have enough space? I can't remember where the name. I, th I think it was just always was Umbrella. I don't think there's ever been like a um, prototype beta name. Oh, fuck. Well, that's dampened my spirits somewhat. <laughs> Should really grab those herbs. No, I'll save. I've got, I've got enough healing out of the game, I think. I think, yeah, there's enough of first aid spray as well. Oh, I shot his jaw off. Oh, don't poison. No, okay, it's fine. Hope, hopefully they'll try and make it a bit closer. I don't know. I think I'd prefer a new Evolve Resident Evil film, because then at least it'd be fucking batshit. How are we back, Jack? Because it's getting close to the end of the game. No, because then, like I said, you come back here later on. I am going to quickly go... Do I want to heal up quickly? Yeah, I'm going to quickly pop back and heal up, because... Yeah. I, I've, have you seen the um, House of the Dead 2 film? That's actually a lot better. I mean, Uwe Ball didn't even touch it, but it's, it's closer to the games, and I kind of dig it. 
But the first one's terrible. Blood Rain as well is really bad. If you ever get the chance, um, oh god, these, these spawn here, that's bullshit. Well, of course, the thing is, all of these movies are just scams. They're him, um, basically, uh, what was that? Yeah, he basically runs his film so they're gonna make a loss, because there's some weird German law where basically he'll make his money back through tax or something like that. I don't know how it works. Get fucked. Okay, I'm gonna let that squirm for a bit, because I think if you walk to him when they're still... Uh, yeah. Yeah, he, he's a classy guy. Don't like my film? I'll punch you in the teeth. Some so, some might say he's a bit of an odd fellow. I do think he's a cunt, but... <laughs> Uh, I might as well use up the rest of this flame first. So I might as well just burn these zombies in here. I can't remember how good the flamethrower is against zombies. You don't really get a chance to use it in the um, original game when you play as Chris. Should have really used this as well first to save the space. I might. Yeah, basically. <laughs> oh, Magnum ammo. Can I? Can I have a go? No, I don't. Shit. Okay, that's a bit bad. Well, it's not too bad against zombies. Oh, that's empty. Shit. Why? Well, at least I actually have to heal now. Uh, do I need the Magnum Hammer that badly? Oh, yeah. Now I'm going to get the Magnum Hammer just in case. So I'm going to have to go here, go back. So, again, let's get to that backtracky stage. I think the zombie bot would do worse than just open up the bullet wound, wound but. You came for the G virus, didn't you? Never take it from me. This is my husband's legacy. Now, where's that spy? I always love these really clunky animations the when they'd have to talk. They have to do as much hand animation as possible to show that it's talking, because obviously the mouth can't move. What? What? You really don't know anything, what? do you? <laughs> You're so gullible. I'm gonna put that near your mouth, love. Operative sent here by the agency. Actually, in the original Resident Evil 1.5, she was meant to be a um, a boss who's meant to inject herself with the T virus, and that's a lie. Yeah, I think they're probably oh, close to what was going to happen. I discovered this when I did a background check on her. She specifically got close to John and became his girlfriend to get information about Umbrella. That can't be. I know her. Ada wouldn't do something like that. If you don't want to believe it, I don't really care. You're about to die anyway. What happened? <laughs> well, that's convenient. And now for the best song in the entire game. Self-destruct sequence has been activated. Repeat, the self-destruct sequence has been activated. This sequence may not be aborted. All employees proceed to the emergency car at the bottom platform. Okay, I'm gonna have to fuck about it because I, I need to get that magnum ammo, I think, just in case. This is my alarm. This is genuinely my alarm for the morning. This is the right way, yeah. 
So I don't want to trigger the cutscene now, I want to get the Magnum out first. This is a great way to wake up. Only, only downside is when you um, when you like you fall asleep. Cause I watch fall asleep watching up oh, shit. Goddamn naked zombies. When I fall asleep watching streams and that, if I'm watching Resident Evil 2 on, I get woken up every time it gets into the game. Where is Ada? I'd be too busy jamming to this to care. Yeah, I'm gonna get that Magnum ammo. Yeah. Yeah. My inventory looks a mess. Yeah, the, the, the music's canon, like the music's actually playing over the... the alarm. <laughs> That the employees get really pumped up when it's a uh, like fire drill test, uh, fire drill test day. It's like, oh shit, I gotta play the music. Now for my favourite cutscene. Leon. I've been waiting for you, Leon. What, what are you doing? You know what this is about. So just hand over the G virus. I don't believe this. Annette was right. Everybody betray me. I'm so fed up with this world. Me, but you wouldn't listen. Now hand it over. Don't make me shoot you. You can't do that. Oh. Ada. Ada. Right. Don't give up. I'm gonna really cry, it's really, really bad stream, but I really like this cutscene. I really wanted to escape with you, Leon. Escape from everything. Goodbye. She's fine. Hey, no, really, she is. <laughs> Use Resident Evil 1 animation. No. So, this is what everyone's been dying And that this is one of my favourite touches in the entire series. If you investigate uh, Ada's garden, that is such a nice little character moment. I can't go over how cool that is. It's such a nice little character building moment. It's, yeah, just so good. The 
The pilot's really good. But I just love that's such a sweet little moment. I just, yeah. And then Ada comes back and she's all like super sassy and that. Sort of. The moment is safe before I fight um, Birkin again. But yeah, I'll run past and save. Should have done that a minute ago, but never mind. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not gonna... Oh shit, he's... Ugh. Yeah, the problem with these zombies is they also do a lot more damage than the standard. Yeah, I'm not. I think they do more damage. I know they do more damage in, um... OG Resident Evil first one, but I'm not sure if they... I think they do in the second one. It's funny, I think Resident Evil 2 is actually my least favourite of the original trilogy. Even though it's a really good game, I still prefer the atmosphere of Resident Evil 1 and the, the uh, gameplay. Um, but, well, I'm finishing up for now after this, and then I'm gonna... Next time I stream, I'm gonna do Claire B. Eventually one day I'll probably do the reverse, but obviously I'll give a bit of time before I play this again. You'd be support, like I said, uh, Claire A and Leon A are very different. Jack, you missed the best cut scene. I'll, I'll link it to you on Facebook after after this. God. Code Veronica, I'm kind of hit and miss on. I do like it, but there's a few bits I think are a bit bullshitty, but the rest of them I do fucking love. The VMAX are stunning, though. You missed the big sad. Uh, grab that as well. Do I need anything else? No, I think that's it. But you in time to hear the, the, the badass uh, escape music. Did I just save? Yes, I did, didn't I? Did I save? I can't. My memory's trash. Did I just save, guys? I can't remember. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Fucking hell. I I played five when very drunk, and I um, it was fun, but it's not Resident Evil. Do I need to know it? Okay, let's fucking do this. Even though I just asked, I'm already looking, did I save? Yes, I fucking did. Stop being paranoid. I'm probably not going to die anyway. I've, not even, I've just realised I've not died this stream, have I? I've now just completely jinxed myself, but... You've got to go to the bottom platform, Jack. I've not touched... I've got six, I've just not touched it. Yeah, this is the end boss for DNA. But yeah, no, there are a big differences between Leon A and Claire, right? And that's the final boss! It's not the final boss. Jump down. Nope, you're gonna jump across. Oh, 
Where's he gone? Oh, God! Oh, that's not good. Leon, get your ass up. Yeah, he fucks you up. Yeah! It's not that hard of a boss, but sometimes, like, I've seen people who get glitched up and you end up, like, floating in the air. I've never seen the death animation for if the timer runs out. I'm not going to do it, though, but... Choo choo, motherfucker. Leon. Yeah, you, you find out who the small girl is laying on. She, it's not just like random to her. Are you okay? Yes, I'm fine. God, Sherry is scarier than anything else in this game. Holy shit. <laughs> So yeah, that's Leon A. Oh yeah, I think I've got worse at these games. Yeah, I'd love to see a version of this where Claire doesn't realise and she just loses her fucking head. What's that, Nev? But yeah, um, like I said, next time we stream, which will probably be next Saturday, I'll do Claire B and you get to see the other side of the story and the true ending. Because, yeah, as you can tell, that's not the, how the game ends. It sort of cuts off just before. I'm kind of pumped. I could probably do it now, but I don't think people would hang about for enough for two hours. Or do, I'd probably be dead within, like, half an hour. It's it's honestly, like, it's very similar, but you have, like, different paths. You have to find... Certain, you'll do the same puzzles, but you have different um, things you'll get from it. You unlock a different area. There's different characters you meet and everything. I, I can tell within like an hour I would, I would be completely out of chat. But yeah, the um... I am looking for... Because obviously with um, Claire B, you then, in the B scenarios, you fight uh, Mr. X. He's, he, he's fucking... Going, I think going back to this one, he's going to be a piece of piss because obviously in the remake, he's a fucking nightmare. This credit song's nice, but the one in the B scenario is way nicer. I'm curious what my um, rank's gonna be. So I think I have used a couple of first aids for it, so that's gonna probably knock it down quite a bit. I remember I completed um, the entire game the morning I started secondary school. I think I told the story in the last stream, but yeah, it was literally just before he went off to the finish, but I beat the final boss. I was like, yeah. I need to finish. I haven't done Leon B yet. Mainly because I wasn't too keen on the, the zapping system in the remake. I think uh, it works a lot better in the original, but it's still fun. But it's just, I don't think it's like as good, and it's not really worth the, the B playthroughs, I don't find. Right, so I think it's probably about two and a half hours, maybe, I think I did this in. I did this in. I'm going to say B rank. I can't remember if you get S rank in the uh, American version. 
Oh yeah, then that that voice coat is fucking snazzy. Right, B rank, I'm gonna say. Right, I think I have to put it. Yeah, B. Two thirty five. Yeah, I think it's because I say I don't know what the requirements are for the ranking system in this, but I think it's um the less you save and obviously the less first aid squares you use, you uh obviously get a higher rank. I've I think I have S rank this years ago, but again it's been so long since I've played this. Yeah, thanks Nev. I couldn't remember. I know there was like a version of this where it was. I think because in the instruction manual for the uh, EU and the US version, it um it does have S rank listed in there, but you can't get an S rank in this. Yeah, that's it. I couldn't remember. I couldn't remember if that was this or the um uh, original Resident Evil. Oh yeah, I forgot, so this is the uh, DualShock version. You get the arrange mode, but basically it just messes up with the uh, like ammo spawn and that, it's a bit... Uh, yeah, right, that was uh, Resident Evil 2, I'm just going to stop uh, recording now and we can chat for a bit. Bye YouTube!